Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series, and in this sub series, we will learn about C Ash RDLC report and how to use Report Viewer Control. So, in this first video, we will learn about the basics of RDLC template, Report Viewer, and Data Source. The sequence goes like this, first we will uh, learn about the RDLC report, after that we will set up a data source for our project which will supply data for the report template, then based on this data we will design our RDLC template which will tell where each data element goes. For example here, uh, let's say this is database column type and price and the design will uh, help us in locating these uh, fields on the report. Next, once our DLC template is uh, designed, we will use report viewer control to display the report. Then, uh, so at part 4, you will be seeing our uh, first report and in part 5, we will learn about what is a page header and page footer. After that, we will see how to use uh, expression. So, if you already worked in crystal report, this will be very easy for you. and uh, uh, if you don't know crystal report, uh, then also it's okay. We will be learning the uh, CH report viewer control here. .NET provides support for displaying the report in CH form. So, this is the destination. In CH form, we will be displaying the report. The data source tells where the DB is located and data, and data set will hold the table of data. So in this example, we will be using the PUBS database in Microsoft SQL Server that will be our data source. Then data set will be a specific element in the data source. That means we will be retrieving a table and we will uh, have that in a data set. RDLC report template provides the design input. That means it will tell where the data field goes in the paper. So that's how you will design. So whether the field will be in the left side or right side of the report or in the middle of the report. So such kind of information. So you will be seeing formatting as well as location. These are all the two major elements when designing the report. Data element can be static or dynamic. That means if you place a label or a text control, you can uh, fix the data during the design time itself. So the data you supply, say for example a report title, that will be a static element and it will be sticked to the report. Then there will be dynamic element also. That means the data will be flowing from your database to the uh, RDLC report and thereby um, displayed on the report viewer control. Data set will supply the data for the RDLC. So we already know about it. Data set is tied to data source and they together supply the data for the RDLC report. Once a template design is ready, based on a data set and a static data, these two elements, right? Based on that, you, we can design our RDLC template. And once it is ready, we can display report content using the report viewer control. So to house this report viewer control, we will be creating a CH form. Then we will place the report viewer control and we will link this report viewer control with the um, RDLC report. So this will be our data source, Microsoft SQL Server, which is running on this current PC. And the database is PUBS database. And in the PUBS database, we have a titles table. 
so you can search the internet to load pubs database into your uh, uh, database you can search for uh, uh, sql script for pubs db or we will try to supply the sql in the video description so that uh, you can execute that to have pubs or northwind database in your uh, sql server or you can create your own title tables with uh, some data in it all right so anyhow this would be our um, um, data source data sources ms sql server titles tables on the pubs database so we will be pulling this data using data source and data set and supplying that to the rdlc report template so the rdlc report template say for example this one will be the report title then here we will be having some static information page number of the report some picture and a table of data so once the data source supplies data in the form of data set we will be picking the data from this data set and we will be deciding the location of those data you can also provide some static text say for example static text and these lines you can assume it as a dynamic text okay so this is how the rtls uh, rdlc report i mean the rdlc template will look so data source will supply the data and the rdlc template tells how to present that data in the report so it decides the location size as well as formatting so when we talk about formatting that covers size also so we can say um, data location and data formatting after the rdlc template this is rdlc template once template is ready um, the report viewer control will be given with that template and remaining stuff this control will take care so the control we will be placing on the ch forms right you can see the flow template template tells uh, the data location formatting other information and report viewer control will pull the data for formatting and other uh, specifics it will make use of the template and presents the data and this data is presented inside the ch form since it is inside the ch form in our application you can uh, display this ch form wherever you want say for example you can design a menu and in the menu let's say the book titles that's the report option let's say the menu name is report and menu item is um, uh, book details so once you click that in the handler we will be uh, displaying the ch form uh, as model or modeless dialog the way you want to display you can display it and since the form contains the report viewer control report viewer control will fetch the information and presents that in this example we will lane rdlc report using using titles table of the pubs database so there is no demo here we just learned the uh, basic parts of the rdlc report data source data set rdlc report template report viewer control and ch form those are all the moving parts here. Thank you for watching. Bye.